know it's David Osmond's 75th birthday. <laughs> Somebody said outing. You've outed your birthday. <laughs> In lieu of Patricia Duff, who was rehearsing for her new play, who would have been here, oh. was very knowledgeable on the subject of my husband. Explain that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like Patricia. Mean what it doesn't mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, because uh, we asked her because uh, we knew that she wouldn't cry, and you know, with me, there's always the possibility that I might cry. <laughs> but um, I have just uh, literally. Oh, there's some. People, okay, guys, you have like a, a matter of seconds. You're the last ones. Yeah. I want to get to them. Yep. And um, while you tell them what the thing is, <laughs> whisper it to them. So Don't tell me. We want to surprise them. Um, but while we're waiting for those last few words, um, I want to tell you, I've known the guy. We're going to be uh, tw 25 years married. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so Aww. that's um, a good portion of that 75 years. <laughs> and didn't you meet the Western radio, mid-level radio producers? As a matter of fact, we did meet high on a hill. It calls to me uh, San Francisco. But we really didn't get together until uh, Boston, when we, uh -huh. as we like to say, fell in love on the battlefields of the Civil War yeah. while making the red badge of courage the radio. Oh. <clears throat> we, that was our first son. I remember dinner with our finished, we had VHS tapes back then, <laughs> with our finished VHS tape. And, and David, this was before we even discussed the M word, thanks um, <laughs> to this VHS, well, son. <laughs> Write your mothers <laughs> before we send it out over the satellite for distribution. So we've been working together a long time. In fact, I tell people we got married so that we could it made working easier. <laughs> you know, we didn't have to commute. You know, there was no issue of uh, getting up late or earlier. We could just, you know, keep going, um, which is what we've done. We've kept going all these years, and um, and now in honor of. One of the ways that my wonderful husband writes poetry, uh, he finds it everywhere. True. So are you going to find it? No, yeah, I don't cry. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> have some, have, have some of our own wine. We'll all be fine. Um, okay, this is a found poem. Okay. <laughs> One word from each person in this room. Oh, God. Describing you. I love it. Okay. I think. Should I shuffle? <laughs> I think I should shuffle the deck. <laughs> you know they can shuffle enough already. Well, it's pretty random, you know. <laughs> People walked in, some were early, some were late. Random. Island <laughs> time. <laughs> so, okay, it. let's start with okay. this. Let's go. <clears throat> Voice. Best. Shy. Outrageous. <laughs> Large, <laughs> open-hearted, social, boisterous, bozo, glasses, word, gem, wordsmith, funny, ooh, pompiguous. I'll be, I'll be taking this one to my lawyer. <laughs> I think we should say pumpiguous mustachioed. Oh, that's right. I got it. I got it. I got it. Creative res retrospect. Amber word textress. <laughs> oh, that's more than one word. Amber, am, I'm not Amber. Read this. It's ambidextrous. Amber word dexterous mercurial. <laughs> Waiting. Waiting. Is that Waiting. Ah. Character. Found <laughs> <laughs> word. Character. All right. Whose word is this? All right. C H A R A C T. That's the thing that holds character. up balcony. Character. 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 
care, well, you know, they were drinking wine at the time. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Stylish. Stylish. Wordsmith. There's another one. Oh. Freedom fighter. Freedom fighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have those new glasses. Scarfed? <laughs> <laughs> I was scarfed. Don't knock over my Verbosterous. Oh. Verbosterous. Oh, yeah. Good words. Whoa. Verbosterous. Thanks. Thanks. Sweet. Sweet. Engaging. Mm. Fantastic. Dismumberation. Dismumberation. No. Dismum. Dismumberation. Dismumberation. Okay, whose word is this? Okay. I'll be doing the spelling bee. Dismumberation. 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 Oh, well. Well, that makes all the difference. I couldn't agree with you more. Is that a Vietnamese dancer? Dismumberation or something like that. Exuberant. Exuberant. Okay, I've been exuberantly gracious. Gracious, yes. Then Magellistic. Rapscallion. There are some wordsmiths here, I'll tell you that. Loved. Generous, awesome, wealthy. They don't know us. <laughs> Zooey. <laughs> Metaphorical. <laughs> History. Enigmatic. Mm -hmm. Clueless. Clearly <laughs> <laughs> neat, Nancy. That's not what enigmatic means. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Really neat, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> patient. Ah, patient. I might have to repeat that. Hardy, heavy, clever, and truly my favorite word for you. And, uh, and I'm so grateful because you are the most patient man in the world. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, David Oz. <laughs>
Uh, this comes out of that part of my work. Uh, the other thing is working with um, on Radio Free Oz with my old partner Peter Bergman. Uh, I've been closing every show with a tang poem, and I've been doing this now for a long time, a couple of years. All from this one wonderful book, terrific translations of poems from the ninth century. Okay, and the way these poems were would look on the wall is two ideograms side by side in columns. Well, that's so cool. <laughs> that's so cool, because it detaches you from a lot of language bullshit, you know? <laughs> and and uh, there was a point in my life where I was just writing poems in columns of words to dispense with all that spaces and breath pauses and all that stuff that was so 60s. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, the, and, the, and the other thing were, um, the, the, oh, here's, here's what the, the holy set looks like as a, as a pack of cards. Um, and there'll be a little present for a few of you from that book later on. The other influence, a thousand years later, after these poems were written, uh, the Japanese printmakers, Hokusai, uh, Hiroshige, uh, did things, m multiples, which is a form I really like a lot. And uh, 46 views or 38 views or whatever it was in Mount Fuji, 100 views of Edo. Mm -hmm. uh, the repeating of the form with different perspectives, different pictures, very highly colored. And in many cases, like, uh, like the one poem on, on, on the wall, uh, uh, inked, very, you know, inked specially, so the ink would fade out. Beautiful work. So these two, um, these two really were the influences behind here. And I think as you'll see how the, the work evolves over time, how it starts with that concept of the two ideograms, which in this case are old man and mountain. Uh, the epigraph is from the Dalai Lama. What better? <laughs> Tomorrow or the next life. You never know which will come first. <laughs> Summer. Old man looks for mountain, appearing at evening, cold, distant peak. His wine tastes of Bing cherries and crisp bacon, a white breath in the palest sky. Old man seeks the mountain. Northeast it has risen, a heap of snow. Ritual music at high altitude. Peapot and lavender. Old man can't miss the mountain. Diamond white, cold beer in hand, warm feet. Thinks of travelers by ferry boat riding the hot breeze. Old man pauses, looks, no mountain. Death again in Afghanistan, lost in the clouds, in the snows of battle, so many tearful farewells. Fall one. Old man looks at the mountain, says to the singing birds, I'm shrinking. Mountain is there and not there, the habit of mountains. Old man, shorter than life, hair thins, teacup fine, nails gnarled, old pines, afraid of what's going on. There's something in everybody's eggs. Jets scramble like roosters when some joker jacks their shells. Old man, onion skinned, desires a sweetmeat, apricot, and the sun sets where a persimmon winged bird flies which pleases him instead. Old man and the mountain, the sun on them, gone. Cloudless sky, clear and pale green. Rosy, the mountain darkens. The snow across its face, a dancing horse racing north. This is all Mount Baker out of my window. <laughs> Old man, 
in the thunder of his years, sees his friends gone to heaven or living still presented by actors. Odysseus at sea. Old man, the poet himself, looks in vain, then new snows shine pink in the low sun. Old man thinks, I'm going to breathe lightness. Mountain rests under fresh snow. Old man thinks, the rain will wash away the bird shed from my porch. <laughs> Old man takes the boat across, docks, sterns, swinging north with the tide. All the way, gold leaked from his pockets. Old man time, warmth of noon, peanut butter sandwich, heart of night, stumbling to go and piss. An old man's time must be time to turn down the light, turn back the clock, sit on the edge of the tumbled bed for a sip of water. Then's when the old man thinks how mountain rests comfortably in its own time. Winter one. Bright peace out of pale sky. Mountain slips away, then the bone moon struck the bay. The day it most threatened snow, the mountain's top is out, redoubled, toothpaste bright in cloud. Old man brings orange fireworks in from the frost, contemplates the crossword, keeps his eye on mountain's vanishing act, contemplates chocolate, chooses rum toddy, <laughs> broth with rice. <laughs> Number 19, <clears throat> birthday last year. Old man eats alone. Dawn reveals nothing. Icy summer offers nothing but sugar and fat, nails and lube. What a time to be born these days, collapse one into the next. Old man sticks his feet out, sticks his face out. Of an age to answer back today, of an age to ink a scroll, a set of screens, a vista, the mountain and the old man at once blazing, bathed in imperial apricot, fire over water, retired alone behind passages of gray, shielded, water above earth. Winter two. The moon acted crazy last night. Is that the mountain, she said, or a cloud disguised, she asked. Too bright to look at, cut from thin ice, mountains out today. Maybe marines will be out tomorrow, the old man wished. Mountain settles into solstice, just paler than the sky. Early nightfall brings on the wine. <clears throat> Christmas. Old man's boys give a gift, a lump of kitten, infinitely smaller than mountain, but with the same sharp cloth. <laughs> <laughs> and New Year's, 25 or a third of the way through. The rustle of a flight of geese overhead, muted as mountain. The hell of it is, thinks the old man, how it all musically fades away. It was a long winter, winter three. <laughs> this is, um, as these writers used to do, they would write poems for their friends, they would write obituary poems, they would write traveling poems and so forth back in the eighth century, ninth century. And this is uh, for Ron Patterson, who created the Renaissance Pleasure Fair. <clears throat> I'm asked about this later. For Ron, you old bohemian, master of the revels, may you lead a heavenly May parade of capering jesters, bold-breasted dames, tipsy comedians, virile frontman for the actor's life. The old man found you 
a model of misbehavior. Gone to lead the clouds in dancing. Farewell, adieu, drink up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fog, old man fog, mountain two fog. Slow dancing, winter morning, with the old man. The way you look tonight, hardly moving. She and the old man in the mists of love. Mouse lavender sky, lengths of velvet dawn, inked into the east. Old man ponders the weight of guilt. Old man hunts mountain, golden device on the flag of the north, winter afternoons. I'm pretty quiet, says the old man. Me too, says mountain. <clears throat> old man walks like an old man, clumsily, not stumbling exactly, but his feet hurt individually, differently. So he <laughs> walks with care, not to stumble or fall or break an important bone. And, <clears throat> With all this chill rain, mountain may have gone to Mexico. <laughs> Winter four. Well, well, mountain's got a halo on, a flying saucer hat, a zeppelin chapeau, a mirror for its icy face. Old mountain about to fade. Old man spies on it from the bottom of his glass. <laughs> Third day of snow, old man looks out on mountain briefly before it retreats. Old man lives by himself these days, spoons from a bowl, hugs his kitten, follows footprints in the snow, and mountain rules the sky again. This is a, a, a farewell for a friend, for Peter. <coughs> Old master of the shaven head, who leaves a trail of gifts, keeps little but himself for himself so long for now. Journey south from the snows and from mountain, past other fiery mountains south, where the sun dazzles the sea. We'll keep the beer ice cold for your return. Can winter five be the end of winter yet? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Frosted waters blow north from the bay. Even this big wind can't blow away mountain, not its snows, nor ice, just the tenacious clouds. Sun shines on the old man's path. The mist on the bay is too painterly, saith the old man. Two or three mornings there have been invisible birds. Mountain, buried in mountains of Everests and Fujis, can't hear a thing but snow falling. Kitten, grown, follows an old man, sleeps deep in his dreams. For the last it's spring. Forty. Tsunami, time to go. <laughs> Old man feels waves of anguish. Arabs having spring in Shalom. Snow in Japan falling on everything broken. It's snowing on the rubble and through the rotten weather trudge police in white helmets helpless. Snow white, masked and cover walled. Security scans everybody that's leaving. Old man counts the eagles fast traveling south. One, two, three. After sunset, all grays, all blues, drives the radio, dishes washed, burgers coming up, pour the wine, mourn the dead. So many, this mountainless spring. Feel the radiation of fear, agony, violence, in apocalyptic amounts, lonely, desperate, dead. A wave of clouds, a cloud of waves sweeps out of the ocean, and the old man prays for his lost and fearful, lonely son, dead on another mountain. Spring two. Mighty rustic, murmurs the old man. 
black calves on green meadow. Grandma Moses, for real. Mm -hmm. Old man's been a lot of things. Like what? Mountains been a volcano. Been a cascade of fire. Bright stones, rifts, and hell-hot flows. Old man's been a uh, feckless youth once. <laughs> known by his betters. Mountain's voice could be heard like gods, a shocker in the deserts to the east. And my voice beyond, old man says. Mountain shrugs. Snow falls off the slopes like a ton of bricks. Mm -hmm. Well, little break. It's spring three, mm -hmm. North Carolina. <clears throat> old man, old Mr. Bear, bakes his paws and burns his feet. Sits in his hat in the heat. Being grizzled is a privilege accorded old bears. <laughs> Number 48, smoke and mirrors. Put it in a brown paper bag and take it out to the trash. <laughs> Gone down south. No mountain there. The sea, twisting seashells, salt water washing shells, dark snowflakes beyond that, sea level horizon. When the rapture comes, it's going to leave you behind. <laughs> End of the day, sand, castles, fortresses against the tides, melted. What could be more fun than saving castles against the tides? And if you don't hear the thunder, the lightning won't kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Moon overhead. Tornadoes prowling, hurling small towns, killing kids, an old woman hid safe in her tub with her dog. Out to sea, fortresses of lightning blast through the tides of the clouds. In his bed, the old man sickens. How's that hopey, changey thing working out for you? <laughs> There's no such thing as mountain on the shores of Carolina, the marshy stuff. Views for blue miles, isles of sand and resurrection, celebration, inebriation. Old man with flip-flop feet tries to ignore the pleas in bikinis, jelly Easter eggs, sweet as apple trees. <laughs> Spring four. We're up to fifty now. <laughs> Old man thinks how Slowly, time moves when it comes to spring. And how it always makes us wait. <laughs> Mountains out in masquerade under the weight of its riotous snows. Captured beneath an arc of blackberries, covered by the long spring's avalanche. What they say, a postcard view. Too far from mountain, gray pole, politics, parades. Can't see the way clouds and vapors, pale day, moon-driven night, old man, helpless makes dinner. Old man wonders, does anybody go naked in the hot tub anymore? <laughs> Old man stands over the fire, bird music all around him, holding his umbrella against the drop. A heap of clouds rumpled up over mountain. Old man makes the bed, kitten hides, rumpled up. A heap of sheets. A son sleeps on the trampoline in a bag in a heap rumpled up in early sunshine. Now, I mean, we were waiting for this summer. <laughs> summer opens up at last. A peony of a day, a wide-eyed day, a happy hour day. All the old man's children dance like flowers. Mountain presents itself in winter's white coat, flowers at its feet. Children disappear when tears Mountain goes on its way, can't squeeze the sadness out, oh, the weight of it. Children, we forgot, left out and alone, 
then for dead in the market stalls of war, written out of summer by demons and drones. I can't write the old man out, not yet, while well, mountain is still there. Summer douses the mountain with sunshine, which it reflects like a pyramid on the full moon. Hmm. Old man, in contemplation, sits rock in the river of time on his way to the sea. Summer too. Another obituary poem for Robert Wallard, who was in his youth the champion roller skater of the world. Mm -hmm. Blown straight off the top of mountain, a racing white cloud. Old man thinks again of you, little racing rabbit, in the lights in your spangles on your dynamite wheels. The champ, you take a thunderous bow, blast clean off the top of mountain into an infinite palette of sky. Summer three for Preston. The sun, bags packed, leaves home, mountain frowns. <laughs> a meal of leeks with olives, mint rice, chops from the market, mushrooms, wine. The old man lifts his glass, drinks to him. Another room grows silent. Old man puffs up, hollers to mountain, invisible, of ages. Sixty years of, for example, desire ever long awaited. Eighteen years since this son was born, and old man knew he would become the old man he is, as the son seized this summer day and flew to poet you, where the venerable square round poet revealed to him the God inside his name. Mm -hmm. Summer four. We're getting there. <laughs> Rainbow in the morning, the rain in the straits, in the harbor red tide, milky orange, milky sky, oil futures down. Old man has coffee with the judge. Bald, pate, smooth as a mottled old stone on his beach, on his bench. The judge is old as numbers, showed off his beaten helmet, saved him from losing his head. No judge could afford that. Old man knows in the news makes a small joke. Then soon the judge apologetically tells a little story. At last, sun setting, mountain shrugs away the stampeding clouds and hides away the day. Summer five. What if mountain went mad on the day of earthquake? and hurricanes. Rising huge in the blue and green northeast, brighter than the full moon rising, a real showstopper. Yesterday, a bowl of vanilla melting in the whipped cream clouds, and today it's all made of bits. The universe, mountains, and old men deeply humming bits, randomly working, perfectly spinning. Making waves. Old man crowds amidst. Is it, how are you? Or, what are you doing? What's new? And like every day, the old man is making and remaking, living and dying. And what's new was old when mountain was young. Fall one. This is. This epigraph is Judith's. Oh, September, you break my heart every year. <laughs> Might as well be rubbed out, blotted out, wiped off the page, mountain, elusive, seasonally adjusted. <laughs> and the 70s from Norman Corwin. In the celestial world, on the biggest stage they've got, interdimensional sound. Celestial choirs, on cue, orchestra swells. He was so easy with all the gone angels, any one of them would relish the poems hidden in his lines on cue. His voice, old man and mountain, 
bow their snowy heads. Short attention span. The old man's kittens side by side universes. <laughs> Kitten eyes what moves. Restless old man pays attention, speaks a language for kittens. Still, he follows the moths inside the glass. Kitten's world with no mirrors, nor any mountain, except the old man's shoulder. <laughs> mountain sinking into an evening sky. A bit of three dimensions pillowing above evergreens. Chipped tooth, pale peach against tile green, vanished below the first snow. Kitten height, puddle of fresh ink, spilled in the night. After all day hanging on the empty sky, mountain's first snow prepares to merge with it. Last days of the last days of the season with the low light of the next. Sun gone before the old man's ready, still early, and no lights. Late night figs, untrimmed wicks, rusty typewriter, old man's name on it, random ducks, fog in the treetops, lights dim, dim again, are out. It was all about the moon, full again. It was all about Occupy, pepper spray. It was all about the lad, suddenly dead. Love, says the old man, dissolves in tears, mourning tears, wet regrets, shadowless, weighted with time. Outside tries to get in. Old man fears snow. Cloud split heap of creamy bedclothes. A place for gentle spirits asleep. Old man wakes to the day's butter yellow horizon. And 75. Old man says, no matter how hard you hold the wheel, it turns. <laughs> no matter how you hold onto it, universe spins and lights out. <laughs> so winter falls with the blues, and what I like, says the old man, horns hooting some blue tune in the face of this John's gray flag of a day. <laughs> A CD. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. And we're going to celebrate a birthday. Oh, yeah. oh my God, we're going to burn the place down. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, it's the Statue of Liberty. Surprise! <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.
any, 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 any questions? <laughs> <laughs> right. so th I mean, uh, there's so many thanks to be made to so. to, to uh, uh, this, <laughs> this this wonderful opportunity to show work in Rob and Victory's gallery and um, answering my own question of questions. Um, <laughs> there is, I, I, if anybody is interested, either in uh, this is a, an unabashed plug. These are all for sale. <laughs> but I'm particularly proud of uh, Anything You Want To, which is the brand new book which I've edited for the Firesign Theater. This is the, uh, the text of uh, Shakespeare's Lost Comedy. <laughs> Just open it anywhere. <laughs> so it could be the court scene of uh, uh, let's see, uh, like this. I think. <laughs> Welcome, nobles, partners all, projectors of our new proud state. Once only Castle Flam, it mortgaged to the teeth by Japanese, is now, uh, by our decree, Imperium Phlegmaticum presents <laughs> and takes its rightful place of fiscal power among the majors and the independents. A conglomerate of interests herewith merged. We'll take on fortune, yet not see it splurged. <laughs> Huzzah, everybody said. And now, to keep eternal peace among us all, we'll stage an interactive war. And such a moving picture of a war we see. That only we can frame it, focused in our inner eye. A spectacle of arms, a way, a war to end all debts. An exercise to lead us Moses-like from out a sea of red and guide our columns up to inky black. <laughs> yes, that's, uh, no, no. We'll shoot by night, as if it were by day. <laughs> Five hundred points, and so I'll give new lines to every faithful Highland borderland. A universal gesture, paramount to none, and yes, you'll more than gold win, mayor, lords and nobles. United artists at the end. And if this dream works, one, two, three, <laughs> the final credits we shall live to see. <laughs> now, how can I get Henry V to any better? Oh, oh. So, uh, it, this is now out, anything you want to, and it's uh, only available from the Fireside Theater. Thank God we have control of our product. Yes. <laughs> but I'll give us some copies here if anybody's interested. And, um, and that's all. That's that's all. The, that's all the selling I'm going to do because I'm really proud of having done that book. It has like 65 pictures in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And everybody has some cake. Huh? And now it's time to say, let's the meat cake. Let's meat cake. Thank you, everybody.